A Marsing mystery. Four years ago, a farmer was killed at his home after the Owyhee County Sheriff says someone affiliated with a motorcycle gang showed up with a medieval type weapon. Tonight, there are still questions as to why that man was at Rod St. Clair's home in the first place. And for the first time, we're hearing from Rod's loved ones about what happened that night and from the new sheriff who recently reopened the investigation. Marsing, a small city in Owyhee County, where you'll find this house surrounded in big questions. And I feel like it's right in front of us and nobody is doing anything about it. On November 15th, 2019, Rod St. Clair and his wife Carol were at their home when Carol's daughter Debbie heard a noise. Someone shattered the windows of Debbie's car. Moments later, Carol says they heard the bedroom window break. And as we were walking out of the bedroom, my daughter saw somebody on the back porch and it was James Rushworth and he was hollering, all bent over holding his stomach and saying, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. She says when Rod went outside, Rushworth took off running. He was later caught, but never charged. The Owyhee County Sheriff's Office arrived a short time later. And the police told us that it was probably some kids that had ran off and not to worry about it. Carol says sheriff's deputies then left to get a fingerprinting kit. And Debbie was in here and she said, Mom, Rod went outside. And I says, well, honey, don't let him go out there by himself. Go with him. So Debbie had, I handed her this little pistol and we have these big bushes that had grown about six feet tall by the garage and Mark Warner was hiding in those bushes and he come running out and he had was intoxicated. He also had a weapon. There was this steel ball, a two pound steel ball with little triangle points on it and he was swinging that on a three foot green rope and he swung that and it wrapped around Rod's head and hit my husband right here on the side of the head and it, on the temple. And she, my daughter, started pointing the gun at Mark Warner and she fired it. it she hit him in the foot, she hit him in the stomach and a bullet ended up in his arm. And one of the bullets hit my husband. Warner took off running and sheriff's deputies arrived back at the house. The property backs up to a bluff, which overlooks the river, and he was hiding on the bluff where he was taken into custody. Owyhee County Sheriff Larry Kendrick was not sheriff when this happened. Originally with this case, I wasn't privy to anything on it. He says Warner has since been convicted and is now serving life in prison. We know that the Vagos motorcycle gang was involved some way, somehow. We know that Mark Warner was he was affiliated with the gang in one way or the other. So people may or may not talk because they're afraid. And with good reason, they involve themselves in uh, racketeering, drug sales, drug, drug trafficking, prostitution, you name it. He says Warner is the only one who has been charged in connection with this case because he was there with the weapon. Other ones that haven't been charged were interviewed or wouldn't talk. So why was Warner at the St. Clair's home in the first place? Carol says she's never met Warner. I didn't even know what a Vago was. I don't care about Mark Warner. I just want to know who sent him. Mm. I don't believe that he was there acting on his own accord. KTVB spoke with Rod's son Grant about what he experienced that night. We get a, a message, we're at home in Caldwell, and a message that there's been uh, a, an attempted break in. Little did Grant know that message would be one of the last messages he received from his dad. His dad and Carol called him to help patch the broken windows. But when Grant arrived to the house, he encountered this. Just chaos, lights everywhere. And the image of his dad lying in the driveway is an image Grant says is still fresh in his mind. We stayed there all night. He was laying out in the driveway and no, none of us would leave until he was picked up. Carol was able to read some of the statements Warner made to investigators, which she says mentioned he was sent to the home to rattle the woman who lives at the home. And so I feel like Mark Warner was sent here after me 
And that's an awful big load to carry, thinking my husband died because somebody wanted me hurt or gone. Looking back at the report, Sheriff Kendrick says what happened at the initial scenes strikes him as unusual. I wouldn't have left if there was a chance of a suspect still being in the area. But I'm not going to second guess the cops that were at the scene that day. And as far as the investigation, um, me as sheriff, I would have immediately asked for help, outside help, because you need resources that you don't have in a small department. He recently reached out to Idaho State Police. They looked at the case and declined to, to help us because of the, they said that the case had been mismanaged and there wasn't anything they could do. Carol says she too has been urging the Owyhee County Sheriff's Office to ask ISP for help in the investigation. In a statement, ISP Communications Director said after discussions with local law enforcement authorities, it was determined the Idaho State Police would not be able to assist with this case. ISP has communicated with the victim's family, but despite rumors, comments, or other statements on social media, we are not involved with the investigation. But for Rod's grandson, Grayson, the investigation has gone on too long. We are very unsatisfied with how this case has been handled. It, it's been mistreated to the greatest degree. I wish the system wasn't broke. I wish it really was the way we grew up thinking it is, that bad people get caught. Everybody's wondering why, and everybody's looking for answers. And right now there are none to be had because all we have is Mark Warner in jail. So that's why we're, we're looking other places to get people answers. And in a small town, Rod's loved ones as well as Sheriff Kendrick believe someone in Marsing knows something more. Why was he there? And why, did, why was he there trying to break windows out of their house in the night uh, with all the lights on and no window coverings? You can see them in there breaking windows, trying to lure them out. And then, even after the Sheriff's Department shows up, returns. Well, what's going on here? But I'll give everything I own and everything. I just want to know why. And while they wait for answers, Rod's loved ones are remembering him for the man he was. I miss, you know, being when he would tell stories. He told lots of stories. He was my dad, but he was my best friend. I miss his laugh. And there have been several arrests in this case, but, that, but as you heard the sheriff mention, the only person charged in connection with it is Mark Warner, which is why he says if you know something, come forward and talk with them. He says they'll do their best to protect you, but they want to hear what you have to say.